We're free to chat for a minute Don't or so. Don't do it. No. It's oh, start the record. We're, we're all going to die. Started. Where um, is my oh. character sheet? Wait, but it didn't warn us that it's recording. It didn't. It's not It's not recording what? yet. Mm -hmm. uh, it is. What is this? What? Wait, there's no, there's no thing that says it's recording. She put cameras and microphones in our houses. <laughs> <laughs> We're all um, recording, recording in progress. Uh, so, recording in progress. Uh, I started. Yeah, I, I started the recording on uh, Streamlabs, but not on. Uh, okay, but Zoom. Ryan, how dare you? Oh wait, you. games. Currently online. Badges. Games. Okay. Okay. Feel I heard great. my dead name for a second. I was like, "How dare you?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know your dead name. I literally met you as Jamie. I know. I, I know. I, know. I don't know. I'm so confused. Um, I found it. So my most played game is uh, Civ Six with 1,700 hours, 1,702, and then it's Stellaris with 1,466. Hey, Mitch. Huh? Do you even go to this school? You don't even go here. She doesn't even go here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even go to this school? Why are you here? You left us. You left I us. Have, I just have uh I just have so many feelings. I just want to make a cake full of rainbows. <laughs> There's no way I can't tell how much time I played on LOL because like the one website that says it does it won't. It doesn't. It says I've played for zero hours, which is untrue because I played for like five hours today. Yeah, I mean, you make a good point, uh, uh, Sai, not Kevin. Um, <laughs> because I, I did, I did leave at the end of last session. So, like, do I even go here? I don't think you go here. Oh, Emma, I'll also say just preemptively for like the time stop. I don't. You will fall asleep before I do. We're 100% West Coast now, so like this can go for as long as you need it to. Wow. Oh, got you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I <clears throat> definitely. I like. I don't want to take up too much time. Um, but we'll we'll see. We'll we'll see. Like if if we're if we're not having fun because we're you going call too it long you call it taking up time. I call it we're playing a cool ass game where I get to play a murder furry. <laughs> Okay. Murder furry. Wait. <laughs> so he does kind of play a murder furry. <laughs> he literally plays a murder furry. So. I'm, actually, it's actually. Wait, Britt, have you watched Doctor Who? <laughs> I've never been so offended to be asked a question in my entire life. We Whoa. have talked about the rest of Super Who Lock, but not the obviously. Who part of it. I've seen okay. Doctor Who. Uh, slowly becoming more and more like the Master. Your character. Mm. Wait. I missed the beginning of this conversation because I totally tuned out because I've never had less to say than when you were talking about Steam. <laughs> <laughs> I truly have never had less to say in a conversation in my entire life. <laughs> I believe that for you. Zero years of service. I play I one video that. game and it's my Breath of the Wild machine. <laughs> <laughs> Which is genuinely what I call uh it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, you're not wrong, Ryan. You are really kind of turning into the master, and I'm I'm not sure how I feel about it. But not in, an, not in an evil way. Yet. Not in an evil way? Yeah. Uh, I feel so left So, out. like, the I sexy female master? Um, there, Ooh. Dan, there's a character in Doctor Who who basically at all points has a musical underscore. Like yeah. he has a drum beat that follows him. It's been like a it's been a decade since I watched those episodes. So I don't remember all the details, but the way I'm imagining my new song is literally with the da 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 da, -da going underneath it at all times. Because it's it's the it's the double heartbeat. It's the yeah. thump, 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 thump. Mm. just go yeah. rewatch slash watch that arc because it's I some of the almost best. a good arc. Literally I, some of the best episodes of television that have literally ever. Oh, aired. no. If I restart Doctor Who, I'm watching all of, well, yeah, I'm actually Eccleston on. I'm actually, I may have just convinced myself that that's what I'm doing after this. Not to like I, sound uh, like a total dork, but I, I am rewatching Doctor Who right now. Oh, my God, Britt, I am too. 
I stopped watching around like Capaldi era. Yep. Yep. Same, same, same. Yeah. same, so same. Good, but and now, everything I've heard about the new one is it's great. No, no, no. I, uh, the news yeah. that Russell T Davies is returning as showrunner. I know, 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 I know. Where do you all watch it? I watch it on HBO Max. Max. Yeah, it's on, it's on Hubbo. Okay. Um, you can use my login for it because I paid for it. So what? Just, hey, what wait a minute. Thank That's you. illegal. You can use my Prime Video if you want it. Hey, wait, can you be on Prime Emma's, Video in like Emma, two weeks? <laughs> then you can also look at Emma's <laughs> Amazon order history. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but also, you want to you know? Which is why I've never given uh, anyone my Prime login. You want to you want to know what you want to know what's going to be on Amazon Prime Video in like two weeks? The Legend of Fox Machina, which I'm oh, yeah. right. 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 I'm so excited. fucking excited about that. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm I so think excited. the second season of The Boys comes out here pretty soon, too. No, Ooh. it's not that yeah, soon. Yeah, okay, whatever. Don't say that and get me excited because it's not that soon. It does not come out that soon. I, I think it's like <laughs> Don't even get me excited. It's like at least two months from now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying... I backed the Kickstarter for Legend of Vox Machina, and I've been waiting for this show for like two years. So I'm very excited. I have been catching up on The Expanse on Prime Video, and. Ooh, it's so ooh. good. Oh, oh dude. It's, God, oh, it's so Mitch, good. That's still yeah. better than everyone who's waiting for Marauders to come out. Well, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I've told you. So- mm. I'm going to ship Mitch, something you... really. I'm going to ship something really quick. Forget. A show it, you need to watch, but just because the John Cena is a comedic genius, uh, the, show the, the show Peace, the show Peacemaker on HBO. Oh, is it actually? No good? spoilers. Good. I heard the intro. Okay. It's so like he's got like he's got very strong like Seth Rogen vibes for like his ability to keep a straight face while being utterly ridiculous. Yep. Oh, that's cool. It's it's really crazy to watch. Like, I, I can only imagine yeah. how hard that must be. Because like some of the things that that character says, it's just like like I was I've constantly been so, spit taking. I've been I've been so tentative about that show because after watching Suicide Squad, I was like, he's the most boring character i don't society, need society if they did a king so, shark tv show instead they no, uh, we have a king shark tv show it's the harley quinn animated series i know it's the one where Ron he's, Funches i know is better. he fucks john Ron Funches is so much better than sylvester stallone <laughs> so right now so the peacemaker show uh they yeah. they give they give the peacemaker character a lot of life like okay you really get I, to explore his personality and it's it's fun it, they do i've been really waiting to job. hear someone recommend it to me before i started it yeah, uh, Lindsay recommended it uh, super, super hard, but she's also like in love with John Cena. Yeah, so I don't, not... I don't trust Lindsay's recommendation <laughs> with men she finds attractive. Yeah, no. This is, this is now a uh, show podcast. Well, it anyone is. can use my HBO Max to watch that or Doctor Who. You just can't use my profile. You have to use the one that my roommates thought they were so freaking funny and named Misha. <laughs> <laughs> For legal reasons, that's Cute. definitely a joke. <laughs> For case. legal reasons, nobody can use my account. In 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 any in in case uh, you know the, the Zuckerberg. Or what do they the, do? Uh, well, what they're they trying do? to create. Wait, they're Facebook doesn't own HBO. On... No. I know. I wasn't trying to say the Zuckerberg. Oh. I was trying to say uh, Bezos. Um, Does Bezos own HBO? Jeffrey. No, no, but he owns Amazon Prime. Oh, oh yeah. And, I'm not offering uh, my Amazon Prime. I'm <clears throat> offering my HBO. Right, but all of those <laughs> streaming services are trying to crack down on like password sharing and stuff. Ooh. That makes they sense. They hate fun because money. Your HBO uh, might mean, be buying the CW. I will say. Yeah. I would like to say that no one who listens to this show is a narc, so no one will say shit. Good. <laughs> Absolutely hey, no one. It is. This is a no narc zone. Uh, but also, it's just snitches. No snitches. No yeah. snitches. Is this no a snitches. TV news yeah. podcast now? Uh, I mean, it <laughs> I read the Joss coming... Whedon profile this morning. <laughs> oh God! It, it could become an anti-capitalist <laughs> podcast here shortly. <laughs> We've always been anti-capitalist. Well, I mean, hmm. you're not wrong. Yes. All right. Um, well, and with that, Emma's like, let's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you. before we um, scare away our Patreon subscribers, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, thank you to the four of you who are Patreon subscribers. We really oh, wait, we have four. It. Yeah. Oh, Holy shit. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Whoa. <laughs> um, we have four Patreon subscribers and they're awesome. Um, we've got, yeah, you have their names. I, I have Steve. <laughs> Is yeah, hey. phone numbers Steve. and addresses. 
Um, <laughs> Mother's maiden. I've got Don, who is in the other uh, the other Greatest Guardians group. Oh He's yeah, yeah, Don. Oh, I shit, love Don. the Witch Boy, and he also runs Hex Great Heroes. Um, then we have. Um, I don't know his real name. I only know his Discord name. And that's what Kevin. he signed up for Patreon with. And it's Grumpus. So Grumpus. Oh, I love, yeah, Grumpus. I love Grumpus. I amazing. love him. Grumpus. And um, our other is... Oh, I'm sorry. We have three. I was wrong. Um, that's still three more than... Actually, that's, no, that's two more than more, I expected. Yeah. I knew Steve. I knew Steve was with us from the start. And so, yeah. I mean, it... It's it's wonderful and we appreciate all of them and yes. So with that, like if you want to sign up to our Patreon and support the show, that would be amazing because we do have a um you know, we, we put in some decent work here. Uh I I, I definitely put in a lot of work and would appreciate I'll it. Puts in a ton of work. Whatever. There's a, a solid <laughs> chance that Brittany will give you one of her logins. If you... <laughs> hey, hey. Okay. Work the Patreon. For legal really? Use my HBO Patreon part. <laughs> Listen. I you will record a, a bonus episode for the Patreon where I do just rant about TV for an hour. <laughs> oh man, I'd be so down to be in on that. <laughs> Dude, oh, bonus same. Patreon content where we do shoot the shit about nerdy entertainment news. For- That'd be we could just clip. We could just before the game clip out this section of the show and put that up as a second feed. Yeah, pretty much, I like it. True. Also, speaking of, I just so I know we were talking about ASMR earlier before we started recording, and ASMR. NBC NBC is a thing, and right now on our on um the Foundry page, um. All the, everybody's like little initials icons is NBCMR, and it just keeps making me think of what if NBC did an ASMR channel? NBCMR <laughs> coming live to your bedrooms. Oh, someone else had the same. Oh, idea. yeah, it be orky time here in the ASMR. Where's gonna go for a stomp around the block? Um, I like to, uh, you want to hear the sound of squeezins makes as our ASMR. I know. He's gonna give you ten hours of daka. Daka, daka, just over and over. Again. Nothing but. Oh no! Oh my god! Amazing. With that. Cax, cax, cax. Oh my god. I thought that's our thing. Oh my right. god! I Rit, because it so was you, much thought that Emma was just doing, just saying Cox over and over, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> Brit, because it was you, I thought you were just saying cats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trying. I'm trying to like hypnotize everyone into watching cats. That's what's happening. <laughs> you have all arrived. At <laughs> <laughs> all of us, hold Playing on. Now. <laughs> yeah, wait, no, not all of us. Yeah. Well, we have, to, we, have, we have to get to the, the CGI butthole first. Um, you are at Eclipse Innovations headquarters. Um, the group that landed on the ship that flew away <laughs> is oh god is uh, able to find their way to Eclipse headquarters. And when you arrive, you see a uh, an an individual who's who you actually might recognize, who is standing at the front door of Eclipse Innovations. Sun, I think you would probably hear them approach. It's a rainy day. It's relatively dark outside. Um, the only light that is around is is the the neon illumination mixed with the um, the artificial light from the lamps overhead. And it's a busy city. I mean, this is like, picture Blade Runner vibes. Um, Kuvakara is a massive city full of people. And as you walk throughout the streets, you see mostly Verthani individuals who average around eight feet tall. Um, and so, I mean, many of you are probably at least somewhat shorter. I would I would say, Snazdaka, you're probably up there as the tallest, 
probably the closest to the. Snaz is back Rathani. to being the biggest one. Yeah. Hey, hey, you are. are you're up there. I mean, tall you are more how tall like, Rathani? They're on eight feet tall ish. Oh yeah. Uh, so, they're also, very lanky. Mm-hmm. So is this like a very crowded city? Very crowded. People walking around all the time. You can think of it as like a city that never goes to sleep. Um, at, as as yeah. I'll just say, as we walk out like from the docks to the crowded city. Luke is just gonna walk up behind Snaz, grab, like, put his hand on the small of his back, mm-hmm. and just say, just so I don't get lost. Hey, um, it isn't me, it's your guy, dog. Yes. Yeah, all right. Wait, I thought he um, was the dog. But, um, uh, Luke just growled. Luke just growled at you a little bit. <laughs> hey, hey, Emma. Uh huh. Could it be beneficial for Brit to for everybody to describe their character? I think that would be a good idea. Um, also, I wanted to ask both of your consciousnesses, Brit. What are each mm. of their pronouns? Oh, they them across the board. Cool. Um. So. As you approach Eclipse Innovations, you see a closed door. Um, And then as you approach, you hear four individuals, or you you see four individuals walking up to the door as well. Uh, Snazdaka, would you describe your character to Brit for us? Yeah, Um, so Snazdaka stands around seven feet tall. Uh, His frame is not unlike like that of a like a gorilla he's got really wide shoulders a very short stout neck and he looks like an orc his lower jaw is massive compared to the rest of his face and jutting from the bottom of his lips are huge tusk like teeth um his eyes are very small beady and red he has no hair, um, but in a geometrical pattern around the the top of his skull, um, you'll see a collection of metal studs jutting out from kind of wounds in his scalp that don't seem to be healing too well. Mm. And uh, around his body is a horrifically junky looking suit of armor that looks really efficient at what it's supposed to do but uh on all of its hard angles you'll see spikes and little stencil drawings of like poorly drawn skulls uh, like skulls and crossbones and other silly little bits of artistry uh in his hands is a giant two-handed uh heavy weapon um and kind of however you which way you look at him he always looks like he's grinning at you Hmm. and uh he's very green um (laughs) almost every every like everything he was wearing is either black or painted red like a bright red okay and that's it for stats Emma, you're muted. Thank you. Um, <laughs> what about Luke? What do we see for Luke? Um, so, as, so as as they start walking through Luke, who currently has his paw on Snaz's back, it's going to get jostled and like kind of come loose, realizes it's a terrible decision, and reach down and grab Nova's hand instead. Okay. Because that is a much safer decision that I remember that we still have Nova. She didn't also ditch us. Mm-hmm. Um, and Luke is a about six foot one. He is a Vlaka, which is a anthropomorphic wolf, basically. Um, he has a pristine white bandage tied around his eyes, and the tie of which disappears into his, the fur on the back of his head. Uh, he's a silver bit of gray wolf. Um, pretty young but has enough marks on his uh, armor that 
it's clear he's at least been out a little bit. He's not he's not just a brand newbie. No boots. Just his paws on the ground. Awesome. Thank you. And give me just a moment. I'm gonna get this token out there. There we go. Yeah, these tokens are awesome, by the way. Yeah. It's a good idea. Thank you. I appreciate oh gosh, what just happened? Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm. Um Okay. And then what do we see when we look at Kevin? <laughs> yeah, that's a it's a good question. Um, I think we, we might need to establish whether or not anyone notices Kevin in this <laughs> busy area. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna roll his, his stealth. <laughs> I will roll my perception. We're blending in. What? The 26. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, well, my perception is a 38. Yeah, okay. you know me. You know my heartbeat. Luke, Luke, Luke has your smell and is locked on. Three people just left. He's not losing another. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. Uh, but yeah, if you if you do see Kevin. Um, I did roll it, and I absolutely would not. <laughs> I think if I could interject with that, I think what you would just notice is like there's just some random human dude walking on the sidewalk. Just some just guy. A guy but there. like, eh, I don't know. Just some guy. And he yeah. blends in with everybody else. <laughs> but continue. Sorry. Even Another though everyone else is a Berthani. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just like, he's, oh, but he's supposed to be there. Super right. short Berthani. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even worry about it. It's fine. Uh, Kevin is about 5'10", 160, 165. Uh, he's got blonde hair and blue eyes. He's a human. He wears uh, gray coveralls. And the only thing that's really missing from his token here is uh, his vintage jetpack harness, um, which kind of like, you know, has a little bit of a, a pack in the front and then a much larger pack on the back. Very cool. Ty, how tall are you again? Uh, me? Yeah. You personally? Yeah, you personally. Five, ten, three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> I am now just going to be picturing you with the rest of us. <laughs> Listen, it's a very creative <laughs> character. <laughs> um, and the other person you would notice is Nova. And Nova is a young gray-skinned girl. Um, looks to be around 10, maybe 11. Um, and her skin is, is like a, almost a silvery tone. Um, if, if there were gl like glittery hints within her skin, you wouldn't be surprised, but you can't quite tell. Like maybe it's just the water that's that's falling on her arms. Um, and she's dressed in what looks to be a suit of armor that has been fashioned into a martial arts gi. Um, and it's made of scales. Uh, and she has pigtails that are up um, in like small little I guess, I guess they're like buns on either side of her head. Um, <clears throat> and she has also, I do want to retcon something. I think a while back I said she had yellow eyes. Uh, she actually has really striking green eyes. Uh, and she, a lot of what she wears matches those eyes. And so although her skin is a very like neutral color, almost like it's almost like looking at someone who's in black and white um and her hair is is a black dark 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 brown almost black color um it, it's it's like looking at someone in grayscale or black and white except for her eyes are a striking green <clears throat> and the clothing that she wears has green accents to it um and she's Otherwise, I mean, she looks human. If you know about the Damai race, then you would probably pick her out as a, a young Damai. But uh, otherwise, she just looks like a gray-skinned, silver-skinned human. Yeah, um, and that is Nova. And all of you look toward the door and you see Sun 
And what does sun look like, Bryn? Brit, I'm so sorry, Brit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. That's really funny. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay. Well, sun is like a young adult, um, half elf, um, like with a feminine appearance. Um, they have short, like shoulder length, pink hair. Um you know, with their little pointed elf ears sticking out the sides. Um, they've got a number of, you know, piercings on the ears, piercings on the eyebrow, on the face. Um, they're dressed in just very like relaxed um, clothing. Like if you know, like the brand Free People, like imagine Free People for Starfinder. Um, sort of like harem pants, loose fitting in just like absolutely lurid colors, like does not match. Um, but you know, she, uh, they've got a very like relaxed, um, stance as well, sort of slouching shoulders, um, boots on. And that's all that you can, they look like a very unassuming, a little bit out of it, chilled out half elf <laughs> very neat um well you all meet each other at the door of eclipse innovations headquarters and who are I you think you would maybe recognize each other because you Indeed. did see each other in the dream or the vision that you all had yeah um yeah, I might Whoa. lean over to our, our crew and be like, isn't that the, the the Cthulhu nightmare person from the the nightmare during the day that we had? Am I having really weird deja vu or have I seen you people before? Hello? <laughs> Nova looks at you and just says, I, I think you were the one who was in the lab with us. Were, were we all in the lab together? I don't think we talked about this, but we never, we never, we never brought this up. But I, I remember seeing yeah, all of sure. you in in a in a lab i mean i remember all I, this as well okay okay i thought it was kind of a dream i also thought this was a dream until this point uh me three um i, I thought we talked about it did we talk about it <laughs> i think two of you talked about it i think <laughs> it was only santi and and emmett who spoke about it mm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah they did and now they're gone yeah <laughs> also mitch uh we'll, we'll get you in soon ish but he yeah. did this to himself. Who? <laughs> <laughs> also, Mitch, I'm not sure if you can hear us. Can you hear us okay? Right, I'm, I'm good. Okay, I'm cool. Here. Okay. Yeah, Hi, Mitch, I'm just teasing. I'm, I promise. I love you. I've just been I've just been muted because I I'm I don't go here. So no. He doesn't even go here. I don't go here. I I for all intents and purposes, I'm not here. I hate this. <laughs> cool. We haven't taken a we haven't taken a rest in a while, have we? A long um, while. Oh shit! Fuck. Hey, Emma, <laughs> can yeah? I retcon something real quick? Oh no. Okay. Um, and it's actually uh, here. Just no, kidding. No, Emmett, uh, before he left, intended to give his um, healing crystals. They're his like spell gems that had healing word in them, and his um, long rest in a bottle to Snazdaka. Okay. What? Wow! Very cool. Yeah. Um, you can go ahead and mark that off on your character sheet, uh, Dan. Okay. okay. How, how many crystals were there? Uh, it was two from me of first level healing word, um, and one long rest in a bottle. Okay. Um. So. You arrive and, and all of you recognize, well, I don't want to make that character choice for everybody, but I would say it would, it would be logical to say that, that you, you could recognize this person. Um, 
You've definitely seen this person before. Oh, actually, Emma, the thing I meant to ask you. Yeah. Uh, the spells I used in the dream. Hmm. Did I use, do I have those spell slots? You do have those spell slots. Oh, thank fuck. All right. Well, the <laughs> first thing I'm going to do is oh. I'm casting Augury. Also, um, all of you are well rested. It's been uh, three days, I think, in this in this, this ship. Uh, so it should be three days um, of your up to your level in HP of healing. Uh, if you're choosing not to use any other kind of healing, all your stamina is back, all your resolve is back, all your spell slots are back. Is um, anyone potentially low with HP? Nova's good. Will, would anyone be less than max before we went to bed because Luke would have fixed that? I don't nope. think so. No, yeah, that, I, Snaz is fine. Yeah, Luke, Luke, Luke would have specifically gone around. This, this was like two episodes ago, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. so as we are going up to Sun, I am casting Augury. Okay. Uh, actually, it's going to take a minute to cast. So okay. Sun, you see me, you see uh, the wolf start to mutter a spell. Mm. Actually, do do I is there a somatic component or can I just like start to cast it? Yeah, spells are visible in Starfinder. It is something like you can you can pretty clearly see when someone is casting a spell. Uh you can hear me humming. Okay. Different tune than usual. Or actually, rest of y'all have heard this tune before, but it's not my usual hum. Um so you're casting augury that's the the wheel that's the wheel woe who is this person basically I'm, I'm asking what good or bad results for the immediate future and can i trust this person in the time that you're casting this uh because i think it would take a minute okay a full minute um what is everybody else doing or saying i'll uh, I'll, I'll walk up to sun um, seeing that, that Luke is, is busy with something and using Snaz as a, a guide person. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, no, I'm say, holding Nova's hand now. Oh, no, Nova's hand. Well, either way, welcome. Say, uh, hey, um, you, we, we remember you. I don't know if that was weird, a weird thing that happened. I'm Kevin. These are, these are my friends. Um, Hi. Yeah, this is extremely weird. I mean, I sort of remember you guys, but I really thought that was a weird dream, dude. Yeah, that was. Uh, I don't. I don't know what to make of that. What's but we, going we've on? been through some crazy, crazy stuff recently. You um, was the person who failed to collect my squeezins. You what? My squeezins. Oh yeah, the squeeze. I handed you a bottle, and you were supposed to collect all that black stuff pumping out of that thing's throat, but you didn't. Next time, maybe try like an auditory description of what you want me to do, and we might be able to work things out. <laughs> auditory description, huh? All right, <laughs> we can try that. My name's Sun, by the way. Uh, my name is Snash Decker Weird Fire. <laughs> I'm Nova. Hi, Nova. I'm gonna like bend down a little bit to talk to her. And I reach out to shake her hand. She'll kind of, um, she thinks for a moment and then she like shoots her hand out and shakes your hand and as she does she she kind of turns her head a little bit and you can see just a a creepy smile in her eyes almost <sighs> and then she like shakes it off and says it's it's nice to meet you and then she pulls her hand back so son are you the drinking type uh i have other vices is it like 11 a.m right now <laughs> it's probably early morning, yeah. Not early, like eh, 10, 11, yeah. 
Hmm. Out of vices, you say? What are you vices then? Um, is there like a uh, specific Starfinder equivalent to weed, or is it just weed? <laughs> is there still soon? Space weed. Space <laughs> speed. <laughs> It's speed. Like space <laughs> weed. It's death sticks. Speed. It's death sticks. Weed. Death sticks. Speed. Speed is great in space. You just really want to chill speed. out. It's speed. 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 It's speed. <laughs> Slow mo. Speed. Yeah. Oh my god! Can I be like a vape fan? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Not like, you know, like a, a weed pen, a swede pen, if you will. So I like pull that out and wiggle it at him. Well, when, when you pull out your, your sweet pen. Your sweet pen. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Sna Snazdak will retrieve from his belt uh, a bottle that contains kind of like a maroon fluid in it. And he'll uncork it and take a giant swig from it. Uh, Dude, tell me that's not like creature squeezings or whatever it is you wanted me to. Hey, do. you know what squeezings are? Oh God! <laughs> hey, you want some of my squeezings? I think I'm good with this, bro. Thank you. Uh, Snazdak will kind of like thump on Kevin's chest and be like, "Hey, she knows what squeezings is, or like a." <laughs> yeah, they'll 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 fit in around here. You. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, oh, I, go ahead. Nope, I was just gonna say that I think okay. I like this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So. I think Nova turns to Luke and says, "So, do we like?" Do we have to go in there, or, or what? Is my spell complete? It is, yeah. Um, and so I guess like for the, for the next the because augury is like a thirty minute time window. So like for the next thirty minutes, is is sun? Can I trust sun? It it seems as if you can. Um, you just get that positive feeling that you know when. Uh, when it is wheel, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, so Luke's just gonna stop humming, uh, clear his throat, and just say, uh, "We are here to deal with the effects of a curse that infected us in the grand opening of a prestigious space hotel in an asteroid." Uh, what are you here for? Um, I'm just sort of, you know. Scoping out the area, checking out the location. Are you, you know. are you casing the joint? <laughs> sure, I'm. Uh, yeah, uh, casing the joint. Uh, we're thinking of uh, hosting a little political protest here. At this point, my body, like kind, my posture changes. Like I straighten all the way like all the way up and like lose that like relaxed slouch that i have and i say no we are here to sightsee and i'm just looking at the facilities for scientific reasons does your smell or voice change when that happens my smell i don't think so mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah my like, voice is there is, a, is there a physical change um other than my posture and then my voice being more, um, just my tone of voice and way of speaking is different. But other than that, nothing. Okay. Are you, are you okay there? Are you doing okay? I sort of shake it off. I'm like, shut up, dude. Seriously, oh, you're making right. us look uncool. <laughs> no, I'm not talking to you. I'm sorry. That wasn't, that was not to you. <laughs> that was not directed to you. Uh, <laughs> dude, all right, that's fine. My name is Luc Pascal Beausjour Poirier. What is yours? Uh, I'm Son, and I guess I could say that the rude one is Jen. Oh, and so then... you are you are two. I am two. Yeah, I am two. Well, okay. technically, I'm many, but really, I'm well. Two. It is true. Um, Aren't we all many? But so but I'm I guess two. Son or Jen as someone who is more familiar with this area than we are. 
if one was looking for a communications room, someplace, a signal, uh, a broadcast room, something like that, do you know uh, where I could look for that? In, and I gesture towards the building behind Sun and Jin. And by the way, this building is pristine. Metal walls, uh, it has a, like a, a green stripe that goes all the way around the building. Um, and it looks like maybe the ceiling is glass. You can't quite tell. Uh, the front door is, I mean, it seems like if you were to like, like pull the little like lever in the front, it would slide open. It doesn't look like anybody has locked it. Um, and you would think it's like normal business operating hours at the moment. Um, so theoretically you should be able to go in. Um, but it's, it's a very pretty building. It does look to be a single floor at, at least like one floor on ground level. You don't know if it would go down at all, but like, Oh, it's there's... only one. It's not like a tower. Mm -mm. So this oh. is only one floor. Yeah. Um, um, would I know any more about like the layout of the building or anything? Give me a culture check. Why? Okay. Have you done a good I assume job? I did some, I assume I did some pre-research of some sort. Some pre Whether it be, whether, some pre-search, whether it be tourist pre-search or- I also have, oh, I also have a question about your Swede vape. My Swede vape, yeah. Um, When you, when you like take a poll, mm. does it start playing the Mamma Mia soundtrack? God. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> <laughs> For me, uh, here I go again. Ugh, that was a bad roll. Um, <laughs> eight, 18. Uh, so that'll tell you a couple things. First off, this is the... If Discorp is the Microsoft of this galaxy, this is the Apple. Um... Eclipse Innovations prides itself on being uh, a very user-friendly experience for its customers. Um, and you would think that the layout would reflect that, though you don't really know inside the building. You probably think it's like a normal office building where you go in, you, you kind of check in and say, hey, I'm here, I have a question about your product. There are probably some products that they sell within this building. Um, but at the same time, it is a headquarters, so it's it's, Primarily, it is an office building, but they might also be able to sell you goods and services here too. Um, this is kind of where you go if you have... Okay, imagine uh, like... Imagine a building, an Apple building, but it's only the Apple help desk. Um, this is probably what that would be like. So you walk in and there are people who are ready to help you out or who would be ready to help you out. Um, but for the most part, like this is an office. This isn't a store. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I, although you don't know the layout, you think that it probably makes sense. It's probably user friendly and there are probably people within to help you out. Okay. What did you say you were looking for, Luke? Uh, Silver communications room, broadcast tower. We have um, concerns. Broadcast tower. Broadcast yes. tower. There was a signal sent out from, we believe to be this uh, building. Ooh. Before GM, mm -hmm. is anyone like clocking us out here, like listening to our conversation? Are there, do I hear the whirring of like electronic surveillance, anything else? Um, do you want to carry over your perception of 36 from earlier? Do you want to roll again? I'll, t I'll take it. Oh, it was a 38 before. So 38? I'll take it. Okay. Um, so you don't think so. Uh, it, it's pretty, like, it's a busy street. There are lots of... But it's private in the way a busy street can be. Hmm. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, it's... Honestly, you probably just look like people who are meeting on the street, like friends who are meeting to hang out, and like you're gonna go. But like, like so, this of the people, any, of anyone who notices us, is there anyone like leaning up against a building, not moving, mm. and just kind of? 
just being still, but within earshot? Are there like, do I hear any cameras around? Um, so in terms of like people being still, like you might see someone sitting on a bench or someone like standing against a building. You don't think they're paying attention to you. Um, you can never really be sure, but you don't think that they are. It's not like they're clocking you right now. Um, mm. And in terms of cameras or surveillance of any kind, it's impossible to know from like, if something from afar is watching you, but within the immediate vicinity, no, you don't think so. I mean, there would be cameras like on the building, like security cameras within the building itself, but you don't get the sense that they're like directly pointed at you, right? Okay. Uh, but it's so, but it's like a normal bustling city. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, as we're talking, I'm just gonna cast ghost sound. Okay. Um, and it's just gonna be like a low hum, that you know when you turn on your AC, like if you have a wall mounted AC, mm. you turn it on, it makes like a humming noise, and it's like harder to hear your TV usually. Yeah. I'm just gonna make that noise to make it just harder for anything to potentially hear us. Okay, that sounds um, good. Because we're right out, we're right outside the place we're potentially gonna go and, and break into. Okay. Well, I um, think we should ask for a tour. That is a great idea. Uh -oh. But, uh, oh, but just to fill you in, uh, so we are looking to shut down the signal because the signal has uh, put a curse, a violent curse, on everybody who is in this hotel. We are not sure why. Wait, I sort of... Give me, wait. wait. Give me a wisdom check at a minus one. Me? Yes. Don't mind me just looking for things. Wisdom. At a minus one. Oh, that's fucking great. <laughs> oh my god. Eight. Something comes to your mind when he says the word curse. Nah, it was nothing. <laughs> so I can't remember from the dream. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, so does she like stop partway through what, what they're saying? I think so. I don't know. It's Immediate to, it's detect affliction. <laughs> <laughs> if they do something like that after also telling me they're multiple, I'm gonna detect affliction. <laughs> Um, I'm just, I don't, I'm, I'll roll whatever, but like, I'm just looking for the, is this the same shit, but a different flavor? I think we ruled this. I, I think that did we, we, did I, we do this last episode? Well, no, we didn't, but, okay. um, or I, we may have, I don't remember. I'm trying to remember if this requires a mysticism check or not. <clears throat> um, I think it might, I think it does. Or, you know what, it might be like, yes, there's an affliction, or no, there's not. But in order to identify that affliction, you might need a mysticism check. Son, do you feel cursed? Oh, I need to roll a DC um, 20 wisdom. Do I feel cursed? Yeah. I mean... Did you wake up and feel a little bit, you know, cursed I... today? Have you well, sank into feel... any fiery abyss? and been talked at by a white demon named Adabastid. No, that I'm pretty sure I'd remember. Uh, Luke doesn't pass the wisdom check, so he does not know that they're cursed. Okay. But then also, <laughs> Snaz, wait, Snaz, have you described this before? Like, yeah. like explicit, de okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure if we could have the exact details before. Yeah, I, yeah it was really early on, I think, into the... Okay end of the season where the first time he met Alabaster, he's just like, oh yeah, this is what happened. Okay. So, um, what is, yeah, what's the plan? I, think I like that, the tour well, idea. There's strength in numbers and I wanted to get inside of this place anyways. So, mm -hmm. and, what, and what we were gonna do was just ask for a tour. So are we going Ken to wanted this? a tour. Side note, everybody. Um, did you all get kicked out of 
the game? No. Uh, no. I can see my shit. Uh, I'm in. Okay. Can you all try to move your characters just to make sure? Oh, oh I didn't even well, I... see it down there in the corner. Wait a That's minute. I mean, I can't funny. see any. Uh, it won't let me move. Uh, oh, wow. Where am I? Or bottom left. Yeah, you gotta scroll uh. out a little way. Uh. Oh, oh wait, I don't. I don't see think me. I can I move myself. Try, okay. try refreshing the page and loading back in. Okay. Oh showing... yeah, it says I've lost connection to the server. Yeah. yeah. True. So, so should all of if all, should we all go on this tour together, or should we split the party and not send all five of us? Is it normal to have a five-person tour? Um, I think with your culture check of 18, uh, son, yeah, that would be fine. Might be a little strange, like, five people coming in, like, we want to look at your, like, why do you want to look at our building? But also at the same time, they wouldn't say no, because they are a customer service oriented group. Or we could come up with a story. Do they have something set up like a brewery tour, but like a tech tour? That's what I was thinking. Mm. Or, um, is this like, or is this like just a bunch of random people showing up going, hey, can we see your shit? Um, like, could I have set up a tour ahead of time, Jen? I can move. Sure. I, I don't see why not. Um, I think... Well, you know what, here's here's what would have happened is you probably would have called and then they would have told you they don't have any tours available at that time. Okay. Yeah. At that location. No. Give me a second. Okay, but if we beg really hard. You right. know, okay, I, okay, 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 okay. I came up with I got it, guys. I got it, guys. No, I have. We actually, are the varied parents of this young child, and she has only when you say months parents, to live. No. <laughs> when you say parents, Nova's face, like. Um. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> she doesn't say I, that, but she's like, mm -mm. <laughs> she gets closer to Luke. <laughs> It's I, just, it's just a game. It's a little son. I don't know what your culture is like, where you are from, but if someone told me that we were this girl's parents, I would uh, probably try to have you arrested. What? As I gesture around at the orc, the dude, uh, and the wolf and the child. So, are we? <laughs> are we? Is like a, are we? Close-minded the viewpoint, bro. Like. Do, uh, do we think that these people are causing the signal? You have no idea. We have know no the idea. Sig we know the signal is coming from here. Okay. Uh, um, to elaborate on that, you think that this is the this is the only connection you have to where the signal might be coming from. The, but you the communicators that like... we the communicators we had before we threw them away. Um, were made by this place. Right. And the signal coming from them that we found in the broadcast room in the hotel was coming from here. The, it seems as if the source code of the signal came from here, but you don't know if the signal is actively coming from this location. Am I meant to be seeing something on Foundry right now? Because I think I'm riding a struggle bus. Uh, scroll out. It's just it, there. We're just like outside of the building. It's like a sliver yeah. in the corner. You gotta, you gotta use your scroll wheel. To no, back I'm out. seeing like all black. Yeah, yeah. Scroll out. It's to the far left. Okay. Yeah, you're further left. So right oh, click. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, oh. Yep. A quick Foundry lesson too for everybody. If you hold Control over your token, if you click on your token, hold Control. And then you use your scroll wheel. You can turn your character. Oh, uh, wow. You can also hold control and use the arrow keys. Oh, fuck yeah. Or hold I'm shift in control. and use your arrow keys. I'm in control. Um, you dance in here. Um, Snastek is going to walk up to the door and uh, slinging his weapon, he pulls out two grenades. No, whoa, no, Snaz whoa, whoa. no, 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 no. Yeah, watch! What? What? Yeah, what you yeah. watch? 
uh, I think we should try talking to them first. I have a way that they can get this on their side. It will be fine. She yeah. wanna be flapping your gums at these people. And, and Snaz, if it goes bad, if we need it time, then take those grenades out and go to town. Burn this place to the ground. Until that point, let me talk. A very maniacal light comes to Snaz's eyes when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> but he steps out of the way. Uh, Luke's just gonna turn to Nova, like just like tilt his head to the side. Watch him, please. I don't know what he's going to do. Uh, I cannot stop him when he starts moving. You might be able to. <laughs> Um, and I, I think we're gonna. Are we down to go in and ask for a tour? Yep. Cool. We're gonna go is in and ask the for door a, we're unlocked? Go in and ask for a tour. Okay, the door is unlocked. Who's going in first? Luke and Nova. All right. I need a reflex save from Kevin. Are you up by the door as well? <laughs> what? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, uh, I figured I was following behind them in some order. Okay. So next to Snaz or something. Um I need a reflex save from Luke, Nova, um everybody. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Check man. for traps at the All front right. fucking door? <laughs> what the <laughs> shit? These guys are assholes, man. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> Luke's right, gonna go. actually oh, where my saves. Happens, Luke might have a new directive for Snaz. Uh, twenty. Snaz rolls a. Yes! Oh my god! Snaz rolls Switch a twenty-five. Uh, I rolled a twenty-two. I rolled a twenty-seven. Good Holy Lord. shit! Yeah, because I rolled a not twenty, and then my reflex plus seven. All of us do well a simultaneous done. backflip. <laughs> it's like we're synchronized swimmers. I was rolling so terrible, then I switched dice. It really does work. Okay. What the fuck? Uh, each of you take 35 points of electricity damage as the door opens and a shock. What? What? Oh my God. Girl, what? And damage? you can just open this door? What if somebody <laughs> just accidentally opened this door? And sun. How much damage? 35? 35 points of electricity damage. Oh! What the flip? Oh that was my a God. successful save, by the way. <laughs> what? Wow. Y'all remember from Androids and Aliens yes, the like twelve D ten acid damage? Okay, this no. is book two. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god. Um, How many D what's was that? That was ten D ten. Ten D ten. Can we be level eleven now? <laughs> <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. So oh, flip. Yeah. Sun. It's a, oh, it's, a, it's a good thing we have a nice dexterous character who can go first and check stuff. <laughs> right. As the door opens, this shockwave emits arc of electricity and it strikes all of you. And <laughs> thank you. Um, <laughs> Sun and Jin, as it strikes you and as you cross the threshold into the door or as you begin to step into the door, you have a flashback and you remember <clears throat> a number, a series of dreams that have occurred over the past week. And these dreams have been buried deep within your minds. Uh, they have not been unleashed until now or unlocked until now, but um, you begin to remember that a little boy has been visiting you in your dreams. Uh, a dark face, uh, facial features, uncertain, um, and he has, um, as you cross this threshold, you hear his voice say, this is the place that brought me here. And then as you hear that voice, these flashbacks begin flooding into your minds. Um, and this little boy has visited you in your sleep over the past week, asking for help, saying that he can only make the pain go away by sharing it with someone else. And he's really, really sorry, but he has to share a little bit of this pain with you every night to make sure that he's not going to be hurting anymore. And 
he keeps saying that he was somewhere dark, but now he's here with you and he doesn't know why. And you're definitely picking up on the idea that this boy might need your help, but you're not sure how, you're not sure why, you're not sure where he's from, you're not sure how he got into your head. But um, these flashbacks start to, to come together in your head. Okay. So, guys, I'm hearing things and not the normal voices that are in my head. Um, as you say this, Snaz is leveling his gun at the door. Yeah, I think immediately when this explosion happens, you see this, like, cloud of black mist, like, shoot out from Kevin, and then it just, like, collects and settles on his skin. Nova's fists begin to glow. <laughs> um, Luke just sighs. Okay, somebody else go first. Jin's going to make a little sad. appearance. <laughs> okay. That wasn't fun, but I, I feel a little bit a little bit better now. I mean, they, they can't can't be another trap like that, right? Everyone, um, everyone, hears first. A, everyone hears a growl as Snazdaka turns invisible. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Whoa, where'd he go? <laughs> what is... Dan, do you want me to roll something to see if I still notice you? I mean, I think you would. <laughs> what, like, is there like a physical effect? Like, it, do you like click something or just, is it just like you no, shimmer? He, just, he casts a spell. Okay. So, I mean, I don't think that changes for you because um, invisibility is a illusion magic spell. But, uh, yeah. So, as you enter the hallway here, whoever is going in the hallway, um, you see at the far end there is a locked glass door. This glass door is foggy. It's like a, a cloudy glass. What's the term for that? It's a... Privacy glass. Privacy glass. It's, um, there's another word for it, but that, that, that works great. Um, okay. It's opaque. It has that that cloudy texture to it. Um, and looking through it, you can't really see. There might be a desk on the other side. You're not certain. Um, but there are also um, two doors on the other side of, uh, or two two doors around where Snazdaka is. Um, and those doors also appear to be locked. Um, what do you want to do? Does anyone know how to check for claps? Uh, I could, I could look, look around for things that look like traps. <laughs> I could roll perception. It's not going to be great. Um, but we don't. Are there like any signs in this room? Any like directory type situation? Is it three doors or one door? Uh, it is three doors. Um. The door at the far side is uh, definitely locked. It's that powdery, cloudy glass. Um, the other two are steel doors that are also definitely locked. Um, there's like a red light above them that shines. Is checking for traps perception or survival in this um, situation? I believe it is probably perception I, I either way would work i i don't think i think both could be fine gonna okay. do that too yeah this is, oh my uh, god that is my second second not 20 in a row oh, oh my god nice <laughs> okay so that's a 35 in perception nice lord a 24 okay killing it um, you don't see any more traps. Nothing is, um, nothing strikes you as like what you already saw. Um, so. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Can, can we tell, all, like, all the doors are locked? Is there, like, an all intercom? All the doors are locked. 
Uh, Wait, okay. the back door too? The door back to outside? No. I don't know if I want to go through that again though. Yeah, can we tell <laughs> what caused that in the first place? Um, give me a an engineering check or a computer's check. Naz, you want to tell us what happened there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, give me a sec. Uh, just I'll, check I'll my try. Skill. I'll try. Uh, engineering. Oh, computers definitely much better. Here we go. Yes, my five is going to be helpful uh, there. <laughs> so that's a twenty-six for computers. Okay. Um, you can't figure out what caused it. Right. Okay. Hmm. Uh, you can't see, but Snaz shrugs his shoulders at you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this opaque door, uh, everyone hears Snaz go, Jognish! And then he casts Knock on the opaque door. Okay. okay. Um, as you cast Knock, the... How would you like to open the door in your mind? Are you imagining the door opening? Are you imagining the door um, being forced open? Are you imagining the glass breaking? Are you imagining like what? What are you thinking? Um. So it. So I think knock has a, like a check associated with it. If you want to do that. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so it's, uh, I have to attempt a caster level check against the DC of the lock. Okay. But I get a plus, a plus 10 bonus. Okay. Uh, so, so yeah, that's quite a bit. Um, no, one, two, three, four, plus nineteen. Oh, nice. 31. 31. Um, yeah. You are able to open the door however you choose. Okay. So, uh... Mm, yeah, I, I just, uh... Opens, well, opens the way it normally would. Okay. So if it's, like, electronic, then it, you know, opens. Like, uh... I, Snatch does not destroy the door. Also, I sh I, I messed up. Those steel, uh -oh. those steel doors on the sides, they're mm. actually unlocked. Um, oh. However, there is a compact black security camera above each door um, that is looking down at the door. So you think that although you could go through the door, um, you would definitely be on camera um, unless you were able to disable that camera. Or turn invisible. Well, as far invisible. as they know, we're not here for nefarious purposes. Right. Can I actually like wave up at one of the cameras? Sure. <laughs> and be like, "Yo, what the heck was that?" Yeah, I think your door what is broken. Just, people just walk in <laughs> off the street looking for I don't know, like a phone upgrade or something. Is that, is that accurate, Starfinder wise? Mm -hmm. I don't know. The floor. <laughs> yeah, you actually hear a and voice respond through me? the camera. A, a voice responds through the camera, and it's a very flat, monotone voice that says, "Eclipse Innovations headquarters is currently closed at this time. Please leave and go to a different facility. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day." Well, maybe put a freaking sign on the door. <laughs> I apologize for the inconvenience. Please leave and have a good day. Goodbye. Uh, we, were, we were looking to actually purchase some new communicators. See, we lost ours. Uh, is there, are you sure there's no one we can speak to? I can send you coordinates to a new store that would have communicators to your current communicator if you would like. Oh yeah, no, we're we're in the we're here right now. Can you help us? I am afraid Eclipse Innovations headquarters is closed at this time. Thank you for your interest in our products. Please leave and find a different location. Can I be recording this like on my like communicator, like like a like a video recording? Sure. <laughs> this is great stuff for my uh, campaign against the. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, corporation. So, so Snaz opened the door. He wants to walk through it. Like Great. He's still invisible because he has not casted an offensive spell. So... Whoop. I think Nova follows you. Luke's following Nova. Okay. Um... Bryn, she, she is okay. better. She Bryn, is yeah. his okay. his guide child. Did you call me Bryn again? I did. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you enter this room to see a a lounge Wait. waiting area. Oh, the door closed. Uh, you didn't let me in. Let me in. The door's closed. <laughs> um, so you, you see like a lounge waiting area with a front desk. There's nobody at the front desk. Ew. Mm. Uh, Snaz, you see another door at the northern end of this room. Um, Snaz is first going to go over to the computers and attempt to break in. Okay. Um, so he's going to check if there's any other more security traps okay. in the building that are active. Give me so, a computers check. Yeah, because... He's not fond of that. Okay. Uh, rolling! Ooh, no. 28. Um, you know that there are a number of security cameras all throughout the facility. Um, and you would think that, or it, it seems that there are other security members that are in place, but they are encrypted further within the computer and you can't seem to get to those at this moment. Um, like, you, you can't quite tell what those security measures would be. Um, and they... But they do exist. You think there are other security measures in this facility at this moment. Other okay. than just security cameras. Okay. Uh, Snaz will definitely <laughs> communicate this to the group. Okay. Um, and then he will continue moving along. He'll come to here. Okay. And um, this is a locked door. Can I have everybody give me perception? Oh, not yeah. the best at this. Oh. Uh, 17 for Snaz. 23 okay. for Luke. Okay. Doing mammoth. Oh, I haven't. Doesn't like 29. Me. There we go. 20. Son. You hear the clanking of metal walking down the hallway. I'm going to move your character over to it. Mm -hmm. uh, walking down from this on the other side of this door. Um, you're not sure what it would be. Are you approaching that door or staying where you are? Um, yeah, if I hear something, I'll, like, approach it and say, hey, guys, I think I hear something. Okay. Or someone. Yeah, so one of the unlocked doors does seem to be, uh, there, there seems to be a, something walking down the hall toward you. Fight or flight? <laughs> um... Can you can we tell what it is? Is it does it sound like a like it's person? Metally. Metally. And clanky. Does it sound like it has like two feet? Three feet? What are we talking? Tripod? What, what do I look like? <laughs> um as you stand at the door, son, um the same voice comes through and says, You were warned not to proceed into our facility. This facility is closed at this time. This is considered breaking and entering, and you will be pressed with criminal charges. Please vacate the premises where we will be contacting the authorities. Our current security bots are on their way to meet you. Thank you. Have a nice day. We appreciate your visit with Eclipse Innovations Headquarters. Okay, well, leaving. Luke will start to pull Nova out. Okay. Oh, what? It was just getting interesting. From where that I'm is... standing, it looks like we walked into an unlocked public building 
were attacked and now are being threatened by a disembodied voice. Yeah, these doors were open. After being physically harmed. Yes, that is why I want to leave. Smastaka, what are you doing up there? (laughs) Uh, Is the, the sound of the footsteps on the other side of this door? No, it's actually down by the hallway where you entered. And everyone's leaving? Oh, uh... Loot, well, is Nova also trying to leave? Because he's, like, tugging on her, but he's not going to walk away. She's fighting. She's like, no, we should stay. We need to figure this out. Okay, then we're, uh, why we're here, right? Snaz is going to cast mm-hmm. Knock again on this door. Okay, sounds good. Um, go ahead and give me that, uh, yep. that check. Uh, nice. 33. All right. Um, hmm. the door opens. And Snaz will scoot inside to make way. All right. Um, I don't know if the rest of you guys are coming or staying, but, uh, can we, can we just close the doors on the, you know, on the way here? Uh, thanks. Um, <laughs> I'll step through the door with. Snaz, Snaz Daka, you hear a, um, or you see a number of cubicles within a large room. And so four rows of beige plastic cubicles occupy this large room. Each identical cubicle contains a metal desk and swivel chair, differentiated only by various personal items, such as photographs and kitschy paperweights. The green carpet and off-white concrete walls provide a bland, unimaginative decor, and potted plants adorn each other, adorn each corner of the room. Screens on the walls cycle through holographic images of outdoor scenery accompanied by motivational phrases. Eclipse innovation, changing the world, providing the best for only the best, stuff like that. Um, And as you walk in, Give me a, um, a perception check. I will allow a mysticism check for this, too. Um, um, I'm That's assuming better. that Nova is heading in the direction of at least, like... I, I think she is following Snazdaka. Yeah, Luke is following Nova. Uh, Snaz got a 22 on his mysticism check. Okay. Snaz, what, is, what are the options? Alone. What are the options? Perception or mysticism? Uh, Perception or mysticism. And actually, mysticism is only an option to Snazdaka. Okay. Uh, 40 perception. Where is is Sun? I don't see Sun on the map. Uh, Sun is down by the entrance. Oh, my bad. Um, Britt, are you... What are you doing? Sorry, I said I was stuck. No, I'm going with everyone else, though. Okay, cool. Where'd they go? Help. We're up, we're up north. <laughs> yeah. Through this door. Yeah, yeah, Um. Snaz keeps breaking and entering, so we're following. Great. That sounds good to me. I love crime. Oh, Snaz what is this room? As um, the youth say, be they do crime. Be they do crime. I... Uh, Snaz, what were your what was your role for that? Uh, I believe it was a twenty-two. You feel a presence in the room that you haven't felt in a bit, and uh, it feels real this time. It feels feels like someone you know. Oh, um. So while still invisible, now that everyone's in the room. Uh, Snazdak, I will call out and say, Oi! You stupid git! Where is ya? Graham? <gasps> yeah. Um, as you walk, or as you, uh, are sitting down, well, let me just describe, kind of, it's, it's been, it's, this is probably a very confusing moment for you. Um, You wake up in a cubicle after quite some time and 
You're probably thinking back to a job that you've done recently, maybe a, a heist of some sort. Um, that's up to you. But in front of you is a small chest, like a, a metal chest that has your name on it, Graham Shelby. And you hear a voice, Snaz Daka's voice, scream out what Snaz just said. And as you wake up, you realize that your body has changed. You've aged. You don't know how long. You don't know where you are. You have a beard on your face now that you definitely didn't have the last you remembered. Um, and there's a, a chip, a computer chip in your hand that as you wake up, you realize you have pulled it out of the back of your neck and you're not sure where it came from or who put it there but you feel around in the back of your neck and you feel a piece of metal that sits just above your spine um, and probably taps into your spine and this computer chip came out of that slot um, what do you do? Wait, so I have the computer chip? Yeah, you have the computer chip in your hand. Um. Also, can you turn your mic up or, or get closer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Twista, uvula, go ahead. What is, what is, what is, what is Graham do? Um. Did I, I'll say, did I notice anything with my, with my perception? What was your perception? 40. Yeah. Um, there are six, actually, there are seven people within this room scattered throughout. Um, I will get them on the map shortly uh, once like, I give Graham a moment to kind of play this out, but I'll make sure that you know exactly where they are. Seven total? Seven total individuals. So there's one that we're missing. Or is like seven included? Oh, no, I mean, no, seven, s seven other than all of you. Oh, that's a lot of things. Yeah. Um, I think Graham probably absentmindedly um, pockets the chip. Okay. Um, looks around, sees this group. Um, I, um, I, uh, any of you happen to have a spot of gin? I could, uh, really use a drink. Stay where you are! Also, Graham, mm -hmm. um, you're in, like, a... a very plain coverall. Like, okay. gray with green accents to it. Um, and... It's it's like a, a like a, a a one piece coverall that just goes from legs all the way up to like it zips up, um, and you don't have any of the normal gear that you would have on you um, in your everyday life. Yeah. Also, um, do you see your character, Mitch? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, I've been staring at these four walls for the last. Hour and a half. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, when when you ask or when Ham Gray asks for a drink, uh, something comes flying at your head. Uh, rolling an attack roll. I attempt to catch it. If you're invisible. Can we see the object that you're throwing? Yeah, so I rolled a 27. So 
This, I guess this would count as an attack, so invisibility would break. Um, I'm throwing my bottle of squeezins at you. <laughs> it, uh, you can try to catch if you would like. If, give me a reflex save. Um, I think it does need to be a 27 or higher, though. <laughs> uh, it can happen. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, wow. Um, uh, math, I'm sorry, new character who dis. Um, 20, 28, is that what 16 plus 12 is? Yeah. Yeah. yeah 28. <laughs> So as you poke your head up the low walls of this cubicle, you hear that voice. You say, um, anybody got some gin? Uh, and then Snazdaka from Invisibility hurls this bottle of squeezins <gasps> at you. And I think you, you catch it right out of the air just before it hits the, the front wall of the cubicle. I need everybody to also roll me initiative, please. Oh no, absolutely. Um, it oh, no. would have, it would have hit me mode. if I had not uh, caught it. Okay. Oh, that's right. It would have hit you. Yes. Absolutely would have hit me if I hadn't. Oh, uh, initiative. Initiative. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh boy. Um, good lord. Yeah! Um... <laughs> Sorry, I'm real excited. That's a good initiative roll. Oh, dirty <laughs> 20 for Snaz with my mod of two. That's what my mod is. Um, I have a 12. Can everybody right click on their token? and then go to the bottom right icon and hit toggle combat state. Okay. There is no active combat encounter in your queue curve abuse. Wait. Toggle combat. Sorry, where? Right click on your right -click token. Right click your, your token. Got it. And there's there's a little again. icon at the bottom right. It's there's like no a shield combat. and swords. Hey, oh, Emma, yeah, 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 yeah. In order yeah. to do that, in uh -huh. order for us to do that, you need to select all of the creatures that are going to be in the combat. Oh, okay, hang and on. And add them to the combat. All right, so this is going to take me a moment. Distract the listeners. Uh, Graham's <laughs> back! Yay! Graham, yeah, I think we're about to kill you. Yeah, but that's fair. <laughs> I don't remember how to roll initiative. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm having a normal one. Hey, Did you roll a one? Spell no, I, I, haven't, I haven't rolled it yet. Oh. I haven't rolled it yet. Oh, there it is. Because I can't, I'm not used to using this um, Hephaestus thing. So I was like, where the fuck is my like initiative? I found it. <laughs> it's not going to be good though. Oh my God. It's bad. It's really bad. It's fine. Not bad. I'll just wait my turn. <laughs> With an initiative of six. Oh, he does. <laughs> And maybe I'll switch dice again. <laughs> All right, initiative. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. All right, these guys have a plus five. Brian, I see you. Yeah, well, what? Luke rolled an <laughs> 80,000 something. No, no, no. Luke rolled boobs. <laughs> no, I, it's just 80,085. I don't know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, that's what I see. Look, I know boobs when I see Wait. them. Oh, the lights just went out. Yeah, the lights just went out. Oh, that's not good. It's dark. What? Did everybody just get deleted from this shit? Fucking. Yep. <laughs> We're doing do wanna, great. Do you want to take All five right. to figure this out? The yeah, aristocrats. Take five. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> that is very funny. Oh, well, we're back, folks. Well, a couple of you are. Well, yes. Um. Nope, no Santi. <laughs> Rip. We don't need Santi. Oh. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! When I put a giant dice roll across the screen, I get very scared. It's a yeah. jump scare. <laughs> It's a so folder. I I rolled the I hit the dice because I thought it would let me edit it, but it's not letting me edit what my actual roll was. So <laughs> I'll have to wait. Yeah, that's why I just type my roll in chat because I'm I'm still using physical dice because I have them and I want to use them. Yeah, yeah, that's Mood. fine. I've spent I've spent money on clicky clacks. I'm gonna use the clicky clacks. Definitely okay with me. I have that's special... typing. <laughs> sorry, you're fine. you're fine. You're fine. I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is Damn kind it. of comical. Um, 
Oh, is Emmett on there? <laughs> Emmett's in the chat. Who says ball? Oh, it's because Ryan. Stop. What? I'm not impressed because you didn't type it using uh, numbers. <laughs> Dark again, Emma. No, you're no, good. This is kind of comical with the. Uh, I, I made a copy of every enemy that y'all are fighting, um, and it says afflicted employee copy afflicted employee copy copy afflicted employee copy 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 afflicted employee copy <laughs> copy copy copy. copy. <laughs> Oh, it's you know what it's great. we're Roger, being Roger. tormented in the chat <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is a children's show is it this is a family uh, yeah. entertainment piece oh I already put Who's these family? stats in here I thought ahead you guys oh. I know yeah. bizarre I was listening to Mitch, my super where did, you, where did you find that setting? I'm mm -hmm. not going to tell you so that it still tortures you every time you type in chat. Why? That's mean. Also, Emma, it's it's still raining in this oh, room. So I should say <laughs> <laughs> um, the ceiling is actually a very thick glass. And so the uh, rain is pattering on top of the ceiling at the moment. That makes sense. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Great. Anyway, <laughs> Brett's Ryan. like sounds fake, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't Ryan, mean to sound you, uh... so disinterested. I, I meant that genuinely. <laughs> Ryan, you hit the all the good cover for settings. It's been a long day. And then you go to configure settings. And then it's pan to token speaker. And uh you have to check the box off. Check How off did the you box. find that so quickly, Match? I've been using Foundry for almost a year. Okay, that tracks. That tracks. We used it for a hot second in the game that I ran, and then um, I didn't actually own the server, and it was really hard to... Mm. Oh, right, down. we did use this. That was like a year and a half ago. Uh -huh. uh, but other games that I've been a part of have continued to use Foundry. Um, I actually really like Foundry. I think it. this is my shameless plug for Foundry. We are not sponsored by Foundry. I wish we were. Yet! Um, I mean, Foundry, <laughs> if you want to sponsor us. Yeah, pretty much. Um, no, Foundry Virtual Tabletop is a, a really, really, really good tool. Yeah. Um, it is um, probably my favorite online tabletop tool that I have experienced um, in the last pandemic times of playing online. I agree with that. Um, it's there's so much you can do with it and so many different rule sets you can modular like it's it's very modular so you can just plug different plugins in um, the developers are really great people and they are really great designers and I love it so yeah shameless plug for uh, Foundry hey Mitch you want to help me figure out how to write a uh, a an initiative into Foundry because I don't know how to do that without just clicking the initiative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh -huh. I know there's a way to do it, but I don't want Update combatant initiative value. Got it. Wait, nope. Do you want me to roll a dice until I get a 12? <laughs> you got a 5% chance every time. What are the stats? Oh, you already said. <laughs> My, it's been a long day. <laughs> I got, I got wow. Five. I'll take that initiative if you want to give it to me. I'm mm. gonna... Honestly, I, just, I, I, don't, I don't mind. I just don't... saw a video. Oh, sorry, Am. I'm being disruptive. No, totally fine. Um... The only thing is, if y'all could roll initiative in Foundry, that would be great. Um, oh, gladly. I don't want a five. The other thing that you want to do, though, is make sure that you go to the actors. And so I think I would kind of prefer if we could do initiative in Foundry, but you can roll your dice on your own for everything else. It just helps me set everything up, if that's okay. It's a lot simpler. Um, yeah. 
So how do you specifically do your, sorry. No, you're good. So go how do you to, specifically do it initiative? Go to actors directory at the top. Um, it's like the little person icon. And then Got you want to open up your character sheet by just clicking on your name. Um, and then you should see initiative at the kind of the middle right of your character sheet. Yes, I see it. And there's a little where this says mod for modifier, and you can click in the box next to it and just add whatever your initiative modifier is in there. Got it. Um, and once you've added that, then go back to the little like the combat tracker icon at the top. And then if you click on the dice next to your name. Wait, combat tracker where? Uh, so at the top of the toolbar. The sidebar. Yeah. Where All you right. found oh, actors wait. directory. Uh, no. uh, what is it? Oh, I haven't put any stats in here. That's okay, why. now I'm struggling. Fuck me. I haven't put hey, any stats hey, in my character sheet, so Okay. Oh wait, where's the where's the quick. sorry, where's the calm? Yeah. So oh, found it. Found figured it. out how to have Emma put in our stuff. Okay. Um, because <gasps> Emma has to actually go in and actually edit the things. Okay. If you go to combatant configuration, which you had seen at one okay. point, I remember you saying it. Okay. Um, and you find the initiative yes. value box, you should be able to type in our new initiative value into that box. Okay. Um, After we win. Okay. Kill that. That is good to know. Them. Thank you. Yeah. Dan, uh, how are you doing with this? And Ryan, how are you doing with this? Uh, I don't know how to do it. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know how to get to my character sheet to add any okay. sort of stats. Wait, so. I can explain it. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so go to the top uh, of the little like toolbar, click on the thing that's like three top people right standing in left? a- Top right Top um, right, at oh. the top of where the chat is, there's like three little figures standing in a threatening configuration. Yes. <laughs> click on it. Now, now click on your player's name. There it is. And then you should be able to edit an yep. um, initiative on that sheet. Then close that. Go back to that top toolbar. And right next to it to the left, there's a little fist. And it's the combat tracker. Let me click on that. Then there'll just be a little dice next to your name. All you have to do is click on that. Where's the combat tracker again? Um, It's right to the left of the threatening three people. It's shaped like a little fist in the air on that toolbar at the top. Yeah, you did Bam. It. Oh, that no. was really fun for me to like understand something about oh, the Oh, I went from getting using. a dirty 20 to oh, a no. natural one. Oh no. <laughs> um, since this is confusing. So you can use mine. I got you. Yeah, I, I, no, I get, no, yeah, my initiative is fine. Cause okay. I'm operating off of Kevin's. Oh, oh got yes. it, that's right. Um, hey, Emma, you yeah. want to give me my 29 that I got? Yeah, I got you. Hang on a sec. Um, now that we know how to do that in the future, can we use Foundry for just initiatives? Sure. Yep. It's, yes. It's faster for me. Um, okay, Snazdaka was is with Kevin, so I'm going to do 20.5. Um, and then Graham was a 29. Yep. Okay. Natural 20 plus 9. Okay. And then um, Luke, did you want to stick with a, your 9? or? I'm going to stick. No, I was going to stick with my 12 if I could. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, Sun, did you want to stick with the, the, the 10 or did you roll anything with physical dice before that? I did, but it was so shit. So I'll stick with the 10, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good to me. Um, and I'm gonna give three of these employees. Um, I'm curious, can you all see my initiatives from the employee employees yep. as well? Yep. Cool. Um, I am going to. Additionally, yeah, folks, if you would like to go back to the chat so you can see people rolling, if you right click the fist, it will pop out a little combat tracker. Yes, you. it will. Wow. Whose turn it is and all of that fun stuff. Mm. All right. Fancy. 
This I know, does sound I'm, like an advertisement for Foundry. I'm not last. Let's go. I know, I'm sorry. I, I just really like Foundry. So. It's funny. Foundry's that's funny. This is actually Wonderful. a very this is a very good character sheet, and I'm super into it. I'm oh, 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Foundry's it's character sheets are like phenomenal too. I am yeah. eventually going to port New Graham over. Another yeah. thing too, the Hephaestos character sheets that that I sent out the website earlier, the one that uh, Britt used to create Sun Engine. Um, easily the best character creator that exists out there. Um, and you can import it into Foundry with oh a tool God, that I downloaded. So that's so um, good. The import is isn't, so good. The import isn't perfect, but it gets like the meat and bones into your character sheet and then everything else can be updated. Um, also, you may have seen that I kind of cheated a little bit with the initiatives because I didn't want to do yeah, just <laughs> I, I changed some things. I made two of my guys lower because I don't want to do too many in a row. And I'm changing Nova's initiative to something lower as well because I don't want to go five turns in a row, just me. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, actually, I am going to go five turns in a row with just me. I am, <laughs> because there's no other good way to do it. Um, uh, Ham Graham? Graham, it is your turn. Yeah. Um, oh. I would like to open the box in front of me. Sounds good. Makes currently sense. Currently, I am wearing uh, coveralls and have no weapon. And as you open the... Uh, the box that's going to be a move action um to open it and take a look inside uh you see a note at the top of the box and it says agent of discorp question mark or free agent or agent of discorp or free agent question mark eclipse innovations question mark the choice is yours I guess I will take the note and also put it in my coverall pockets. Okay. Also, then... in this box, you find all uh -huh. of the gear that would make sense for you to use. All of the things that you are comfortable fighting with, cool. uh, working with, etc. Um, I will grab what appears like if we're saying camera angle above like over my shoulder um graham will grab what appears to be a um, puddle of putty um and as he grabs it it forms out into a poly club um and he'll stand up but i don't have time to put my armor on so i'm gonna i'm gonna go armorless for this combat apparently sounds good um <gasps> <clears throat> also, as you uh, take a look at uh, what's what's in there, and you pull out this club, um, you see six employees stand up around the room from their cubicles. Everybody sees this. And these employees begin to say the same thing in unison intruder within the facility, and it is the same voice that you heard through the camera. Eclipse Innovations headquarters is currently closed. You are in violation of our privacy and our facilities, uh, our facilities hours. Uh, this is considered breaking and entering attack. And they stand up almost in like a almost in a threatening uh, stance, I guess. Um, and that is now it's Kevin's turn. That would have um, happened at the top of the round, by the way. I I'll just say that about like two words in, Graham does his best to mimic them. Okay. Um, like in a very monotone Geordie accent. 
Sounds good. Just repeats everything that they say, but like half a word behind. Cool. Can I, <laughs> can I sense mode of this? Perception <laughs> something this? Sure. Um, Kevin, you're up. But yeah, you can give me that sense motive, Luke. <laughs> so uh, do I see Graham do this mimic? 22. Probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you think Graham he's making fun of these to, employees. <laughs> yeah, Graham is 100% just trying to make sure that the employees don't like turn and attack him. He's I'm one I'm one of you guys. I'm one of you. Okay. Uh we yell at Snaz. Is this is this guy on our side? Was that was that supposed to be a grenade that you threw? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't throw any grenades. What you talking about? I threw my squeezes. Oh well, the, I guess he must yeah. be on our side. Yeah, that's old him, Gray. <laughs> He's oh. my old best friend. He's my new best friend, Kevin. Duh. <laughs> Shucks. Um, and then I, I think I maybe remember vaguely from the dream uh, Ham Gray being there um, and assisting us with Nova. Mm -hmm. uh, but as far as actions go, I'm going to swift action summon my gear. And... Oh my god! <laughs> Level. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There it is. Also, uh, you all have control of the music volume in the audio playlist tab at the top right. Okay. Great. Um, so for our new friend here, son, if you if you see Kevin, basically, um, all of a sudden this mist that had collected on him earlier, like becomes a cloud around him again and then settles into his hand as this massive gun. <laughs> um, and I'm going to look towards uh, the nearest employee who I'm assuming we can see over their cubicle. Yes. Um, and I'm just going to say It's okay. We're just here to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> wow! <laughs> and um, I'm actually going to use that as a bluff, if that's okay with you, to do greater faint yeah. on this. Go ahead. Um, which is a 28 against all of the things. Um, KAC plus eight, right? No, it's it's the it's a weird one. It's um. The DC is 10 plus your sense motive or 15 plus one and a half times your CR. Um, Whichever is higher. Say that again. Mathing. So the more complicated one is 15 plus one and a half times your CR. 15 plus one and a half times your CR. And the total again? Um, I got a 28. Sorry. So if you have one and a half you times CR... You are successful. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so that one that's nearest us... Um, is flat-footed until the end of my next turn. Okay. That was cool. Mm. Nice effect. Yeah. Okay. And I'm done. Very neat. Um, next up is Snaz Daka. Uh, well, I'm no longer invisible. Um... Nasdaq is going to move over here and then he's going to cast supercharged weapon on himself. Nice. And, and uh, yeah, that'll be my turn. Sounds good. And uh, he, he's waving mildly or wildly at uh, Hamgrade. He's like, hey, wait under attack. Hamgrade, defend yourself. Um, 
seeing you charge up your weapon, Snazdaka. The employee who has um let's, let's look at this uh, character art just a bit. Really beautiful artwork. Um, why don't I? They don't have. I um, oh, oh wait, this is cool as shit. Mm -hmm. So oh, wow. they're carrying. Like, oh no, she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're carrying like random office supply things, uh, and they like put them down on the desk as they stand. Um, they see Snazdaka, and. She has a side shave with white hair, blue eyes, mechanical, like technological stuff all over her body, like implanted into her skin. Um, one of her eyes looks like it might be biomechanical. You're, you're not sure. Um, and she picks up... <laughs> Does she move, like, naturally, or does she move like the puppets in It's a Small World? Like the puppets in It's a Small World. Oh, that's so fun. Oh my god, she's even hotter. <laughs> um, oh. she... It was not me saying that the puppets in It's a Small World are hot. But, uh, I like... think that's exactly what it was you were saying. <laughs> that's not what I was saying! <laughs> Literally, that's too late. exactly what we were saying. Shit. I mean, not to kink shame, just I've perjured myself. No! <laughs> um... She picks up a computer that's like bolted into the wall, uses a move action to pull it out of the cubicle's wall, and then um, she, now these are low cubicle walls, but you will still get some cover from this Nasdaka because there's a wall in between you. Uh -huh. um, and she takes the computer and she pulls it over her head and she throws it at you. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing this is partial cover? Partial cover. Um, that's a natural two. It's a, definitely a miss. Yeah. Um, for a total of a 12. Yeah. And so that is her turn. <clears throat> Next is the afflicted employee in the back. And same thing. This music's pretty loud, huh? Um, it's very dramatic. It is. I'm going to switch it up. <laughs> oh, wow. Feel free to adjust sound. I'm still getting used to the boundary mechanics and stuff. Um, she takes her office chair, moves with it, and uh, that is her turn. Next up. is Nova. Gosh, I'm going to be moving so many times. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I think Nova just double moves. Uh, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50, 50. She's going to move back all the way down here. And next up is this afflicted employee who sees Nova, takes an office chair. Actually, I think she's going to go try to attack Kevin with this. She grabs an office chair and she begins moving toward Kevin. And she lifts the office chair above her head and she throws it directly at Kevin. That's just not polite, and also is making a larger mess. It's true. So 
a 23 hit you? It's a miss. It's a miss. Yeah. Nice. All right. Nice! And this one grabs a stapler. Um, like, not a stapler, uh, a hole punch. And picks it up and moves with... Brings it with her. Moves up here. And attempts to throw it at Snazdaka. What an asshole! Mm-hmm. Emma? Yeah? Does this office worker move through a threatened square of mine? Um... Five... Twenty... I don't think so because they moved like around. I think they would have, they would have had to move next. They, there's no way to not be next right? to. Right. But there is a wall there. There's like a cubicle wall there. Is it? But is it like a three foot cubicle wall? That's true. You could, yeah, you could take an att- attack of opportunity at a, um, and they would just get a, a slight bonus to their AC. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Um, and hey Emma, can I yeah. make the assumption? that there are computers in this room? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to trick attack Okay. Uh, using my computer's skill. Okay. Um, I'm going to hack a computer to glitch to distract them before I trick attack. Sounds um, good. So for the trick attack, that is a 37. Oh, yeah. Computer trick. Mitch, Yeah. is, is Graham sponsored by NordVPN? I mean, is he part of is he part of the Nordiverse now? If I were to say that he was number three, uh, Jesus Christ! He, it, I mean, he might be. We we would never know. We'd have to wait until NordVPN sponsors us. Oh, so we can tell that part of the story? Yep. <clears throat> um. Okay. So that's the that's the that. Um. And I'm pretty sure that that is successful. Um. So now I'm gonna make my attack. Um, how about a 23? 23. Mm. Let's see. Does Graham just pick up the red stapler and swing it? No, he's got his poly club. His what? A 23 hits. Yes. Okay. Is that a club with multiple partners? No, it's a... Um, it, he picks up a pile, he picked up a pile of putty out of this gray box in front of him, and it forms into a club. Oh, it's Flubber. Kind of. <laughs> nice. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll this on there because this is a lot of dice. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, 35. That's 35 a stick. damage. Yeah. All right. Uh, um, this is half bludgeoning, half electric. All right. Cool. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Fuck. Mitch, describe how you trick attack with a computer and a club. Yeah. So, um, uh, I almost said Emmett. Graham goes, uh, as this office worker goes by, uh, Graham waves his hand in front of the uh, computer screen in front of him, and it glitches out and shoots a little bit of spark. Um, and then he turns on the stun um, mechanic or the stun button. I don't the stun feature of his baton, and he swings down and uh, hits them while they're distracted. And. As they move by Graham and get hit, they then attempt to throw at Snazdaka. They also almost don't even recognize or like register your attack. Like you hit them, they take damage, clearly, but like they just keep moving. Um, And then they throw this massive hole punch at Snazdaka, which then misses. And we are now at Luke. So I noticed that Emmett attacked them, which means, at least for the moment, Graham, or Graham attacked them. Graham is on our side. Uh, Luke's going to start humming again. Okay. 
uh, and you're gonna hear the drum beats. And so everybody gets. Uh, oh, it's the first time you get to hear this, Brit. Uh, everybody uh-huh. gets a plus one to your attack rolls and damage rolls, plus nice. and a plus one to saves against charm, compulsion, and fear. And you're all hasted, and you have fast healing one. And hasted? Oh my gosh! Yeah, you're hasted. Wait, what does now. that mean? Uh, you can make uh, you get thirty extra feet of movement. You can do that movement and then you can make a full attack after moving or you can do a full attack then move oh cool that's awesome also i have something for you (laughs) nice (laughs) wonderful so there's like a nice like gentle humming and then that's underneath it now cool is that your full turn luke uh no um and then I'm going to look over at Sun. Uh, do you fight up close or far away? Um, either or. I will make it easier to get close. And I'm going to cast Defrex Hardiness on you. Uh, okay. Like a fur coat, like a thick fur spiky coat is going to like shoot okay. out of your back. And you now have uh, damage resistance nine. Oh, wow. Um, any damage you take, you take nine less of it. Cool. Thank you. Wow. And if anyone hits if anyone hits you with the melee attack, they get hurt. Oh. That's my turn. Very cool. Uh, next up is Sun. Okay. Um, combat, my forte, everyone knows. <laughs> uh- <laughs> hey, hey, Brit. Hey, Brit. You know what, what you should do? You should uh, teleport into a uh, rock wall. Oh yeah. my! <laughs> just, uh, try it. God. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I like hate up this brutal. <laughs> Holy shit! Mitch, don't hold back. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Sai, she may have done that, or they may have done that for real. Girl, help. I, I gathered this. Oh my god. Girl, help. Okay. Um, I am, I mean, I don't really feel like I have to move, but I mean, which you one have, are we putting? I'll just also uh, just say you have 60 feet of movement and a full attack. So you can make multiple attacks in a round. Could I? If you want to metagame it, the one that's kind of in the cubicle still in front of us is flat footed. I think, is it not 30 feet of movement plus a full round attack? Not 60 oh, feet? You I... also get an extra 30 feet of movement. Um, From. Okay, and I. All of the haste have... of creatures' modes of movement, including base, burrow, climb, fly, blah, 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 increase by 30 feet to a maximum of twice the target's normal speed. Okay, I mean, I have... But... So not only can you make a full attack and move, your move is doubled. Everybody just turned into Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. So I could go all the way to the one in the back. Okay. But I don't really have to move right now. Um, Can I just do... If I want to do... So wait, if I'm doing like a full attack, like how does that work again? Remind me. Uh, So you're going to take... You'll take two attacks at a minus four each. Okay. Um, in that case, I would like to do an unarmed strike on the one that's in the cubicle in front of me. Okay. So you will have to move up to them if you if you'd like to do that. Okay. Sure. Here I go. Bloop. Is that close enough? Or do uh, I have to get in this? You'll need to be like right up against the cubicle. I actually okay. don't know if there's enough space for you to do a full arm str- mm, let's see I don't think you can stand and attack yeah I don't think you can stand in that square I'm sorry wait which, oh which okay there's, um yeah there's can I a, climb up onto there. the top of the cubicle sure okay so I've done that okay <laughs> so now I can do uh, my unarmed strike on yeah. That one there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. Okay. 
Okay, so it's I can do two attack at minus four, you said? Yep. Numbers. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. 14. Uh, 14 plus 20, 28. 20, 24 is the first one. That's a hit. Yes. Um, and then the second one. 19 plus. That'll hit because I rolled a 19, which is higher than what I rolled last time. Do I have to do the math or do you trust me? Uh, you're fine. 19 plus 19 yeah. plus 14 minus four. You're fine. 19, oh, just 19 plus 10. Wow. Um, 29. I'm a other, math teacher's nightmare. My other question <laughs> is, are you using your entropic strike or unarmed strike? Unarmed strike. Okay. Um, okay, cool. So that's two hits. So then I roll 2d6. So that's five, six, plus 18, plus the extra one. Everyone just friggin' bear with me here. You're fine. I failed algebra to intrig three times. I love Drake. Six. Ugh, nightmare. It's the only reason I passed Okay, so the first up. one's 30. That's it. Okay, 30 damage. Yeah. Is that with the plus one? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and then five. Three. Oh, um, this is why you messaged me about the strikes. Um, hey, Ryan. Yeah. Yep. Fast healing what? Right now. One. 27. So that's a total of 57. And that's for hit points, not stamina points. Yeah. Flat footed dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what does this look like as you move up to strike this individual? Okay, so I run up to the cubicle and I sort of like hop up onto the top of the cubicle and like crouching along like the edge of it. And then the, you may remember my purplish gooey slime, whatever, comes out of um, my back, explodes along my arms into two like points coming out of my hands. And I sort of do like a crossed stab through the neck of the thing. So I think- Is that okay? I think that it has to be bludgeoning damage or acid damage. Oh, okay, damage. Um, okay, but. that's fine. We'll just do um, two like clubs out the end of my hand of the purple slime, cool. which then do a head pop smash explosion. Nice. I'll double check on that later. I think it has to be bludgeoning. I could be wrong. No, I think you're you're absolutely right. I'm looking at it right here and it, it is bludgeoning and I cool. just can't read slash play this game properly. <laughs> I like it though. Um, and so as you do this, just this employee without any expression on their face, without showing any like inkling of pain, just falls dead to the ground. I mean, you know what they say, the customer is always right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Very good. Um, and we then go to this employee in the back who sees Nova, grabs a chair, steps over here, and throws. Twenty-eight to hit. That is a hit. So this chair strikes Nova and deals eight points of bludgeoning damage. Cool. I mean, who throws a chair, honestly? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the one in the center grabs a... <clears throat> a keyboard. <laughs> and runs over here. 
and throws the keyboard at Nova. Is it like one of the like thin metal Apple keyboards? Definitely. Miss. This whole fight scene has extreme wanted vibes. I don't know what that means. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh my god. It's a very <laughs> it's a silly movie, but it, it's got a really interesting office fight sequence. Yeah, there's an office fight sequence, and it's just like this is exactly what I imagine it to be. Um. Um, alrighty. Whoop, 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 whoop. Graham, it's your turn. It's me. I'm Graham. Um, uh, Graham is gonna fly down here. Okay. <laughs> um, as he's going up there, he um causes whatever technology this like gray thing is right here um behind this enemy like a hollow table yeah he causes that to start glitching by hacking it okay um and so that's gonna be for my trick attack okay um how about a 33 yep cool uh and then he's gonna try and um hit uh this person with his club all right go ahead with a plus one from right um how about a 23 23 is a hit cool um roll this thing on to this plus 11 this time uh so 40 so 20 bludgeoning and 20 electricity cool um, and I imagine that um, he actually, because he has enough. Oh wait, he, I imagine he like runs over <laughs> and like baseball slides and like smacks them on the shins. Okay. With this. Yeah. Um. And. Um. That is going to be. Um, no, that's it. I thought I was going to have a, uh, I thought I was going to do another thing, but, uh, I'm not going to. All right. Kevin, it's your turn. All right. Um, so this person throws the chair at me and I dodge out of the way or whatever. <laughs> and I laugh. <laughs> I hope, I hope you, you have, have workers, workers cop. <laughs> and I just... Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, full attack. <laughs> With the, the lasers and the stuff. Oh, my God. Is that a crit? It's a crit. Holy cow. Okay. Let's um, go. So we got some things. So it's um, 23 to hit on the first one. Oh, yeah. For 24 fire damage. Okay. And then my second attack was a natural 20 um, for a total of 46 and 6 burn. Dead. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you want to? How does this look? Um, I basically just level my corona artillery laser and just go pew 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 pew, just right in its chest. And I imagine it just like heats up and explodes. All right, its chest like. I mean, it's a person with augments all over her chest like uh, you see this uh, like the, the metal that that is all over her body heats up and her chest like 
caves in and melts and like a lot of the little pieces of metal just explode as she falls to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> cool. cool. Um, and I have a question about haste. So is it you can also move move or is it a move action and full attack? I think uh, it's just movement. So. Oh, actually, it could be a move action. It, it, Hang on. So when making a full attack, a hasty creature can also take a separate move action in order to move. This movement can occur before, after, or between the attacks from the full attack. All movement must occur at the same time. So you can't move like 15 feet full attack and then move another 15 feet. Um, <clears throat> all of the hasted creatures modes of movement increase by 30 to a maximum of twice the target's normal speed. Uh, this increase counts as an enhancement bonus and affects the creature's jumping distance. Multiple haste effects do not stack. Okay, so I'm reading when making a full attack, a hasted creature can take a separate move action in yeah. order to move. Okay, so it has to move. Yeah. Okay, so then that, that is my turn then. Cool. cool. Very nice. Um, next up is... Snazdaka? Yeah. It's true. What do you do? Uh, hmm. What do I do? Um, well, I made a mistake last round, so I can't completely do it, which kind of sucks. Okay. But uh, as a move action... Snazdaka is going to use his enhanced weapon, uh, Magical Hack, by sacrificing a level 3 spell slot. Okay. Uh, and uh, he is going to shoot at the one down bottom by himself. Okay. And hopefully fuck him up. Let's see. Um... Uh, Luke, your thing gives me a plus one to my attack roll, right? Yep. Awesome. Seventeen. That is a hit. Oh my god, thank god, because that was kind of a low roll. Um, mm -hmm. All right, you're going to take some damages. You're going to take... Uh, let me... Uh, this is going to take me a moment to write this weapon strain. Um, uh, roll... 2d8 plus 4d6 plus 3d6. Oh, I made a mistake. You take that many damages. Whew. 36 damages. How would you like to kill this individual? Oh, nice. Uh, so, as I use the magical hack enhance weapon, um, Kind of a la Marvel vs. Capcom, mm. like with <laughs> Iron Man's proton cannon. A cool. giant ghostly image of a much larger gun kind of sinks onto Snazdaka's hands. And then a humongous flashing beam of light fires from his gun and puts a dinner plate sized hole through that employee. Oof. I just had a vivid memory of a bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Accurate. Uh, I'm right there with you, Ryan. A distant, distant memory of a bowling alley. <laughs> and is that your full turn? Uh, well, I shot and I used my move action, so yes. Uh, that's it. I can't move because that's not how haste works in Starfinder. Okay. Um, so the next step is the employee next to Graham, who is holding a like a, a, a thick metal clipboard um, and she takes it and she tries to whack you upside of the head oh uh hey Emma uh-huh um my that not that it matters hmm. 
Um, I would have made them flat-footed, um, so I'm not gonna say, oh, I actually made them off target, but they, because I succeeded at this, the skill check and the attack roll of the trick attack, they're flat-footed. Makes sense. Could have made them off target, but I made them flat-footed. All right. Um, also, maybe get a little closer to your mic. Um, yeah, sorry. You're good. They miss. Uh, by how much? Um... Because I think I have a thing. They got a 15. Okay. Um, where is it? Where, I feel like I saw... Oh, I do. I do. It's right there. Um, oh, it's a ranged attack. Never mind. Okay. They're making melee attack. Uh, the next up is... Nova. Nova sees this one approach her. And she says, whatever you're doing here isn't nice. And she steps forward. And... Um, hey, Emma. Yeah. What was your roll to hit it was a five plus 10 for 15 yeah that's actually just going to hit because i'm not wearing armor oh okay <laughs> love to um, see it because it's oh wait hold is it against eac or kac um it is against kac then it will just miss okay um <laughs> never mind <laughs> this is fine Nova's going to attack with her unarmed strike as she runs up and kicks this office employee. That's a hit with a dirty 20. Damage is 24 bludgeoning damage. All right, and then next is Luke. How many of them are still up? Uh, anybody that does not have a red icon oh, to the top yeah. left of them There's is still up. Left. Zoop. Zoop, 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 zoop. <laughs> like, uh, what I was doing was imagining myself Move, my movement on my next turn and then vocalizing <laughs> it as Zoop. That's literally what happened just then. Uh, how high are the cubicle walls? Uh, they're like five feet tall. So enough to like have some cover behind it. Um, but... but pretty easy to walk over with a pair of four souls. Right, like you could you could climb over it. Uh, for sure. Yeah, so Luke is going to, with his hasted movement, move 5, 10, 15. As he gets here, he's going to take a step, and his foot is just going to plant partway in the air. Okay. Using the... Uh, so I have... I've told you that I have four souls. You know those two? I don't think so. Nodes in the soles of your feet project tiny fields of force energy when you intentionally step into thin air, allowing you to walk as if you were on solid ground as long as you're not encumbered, even in zero gravity. Cool. And Thanks. so I'm going to take a pair of, just walk up and over. Okay. Cubicle wall, and then just keep walking. It's 25, 30, 40, 50, next to Graham land on the ground, shoot out the bone claws, okay, and take a full attack on the employee in front of him. Okay. Now it's gonna be a, ooh. Bonus to hit, I'm gonna lay attacks very much. Um, 21 and a 16. Uh, the 21 hits the 16... Oh, 17. 17 does hit. Yeah. I get to do damage. 
that's gonna be. Thirty-six damage as I Aww. shoot out my my my, cl my the claws at the end of my my paws become like two feet long, and I just like X slash, which going back to Marvel versus Capcom, Wolverine did. Very cool. And it dies in front of you. She dies in front of you. Um, is there any specific way that you wanted to? end that or just stabby stab oh i just no i just want to slice her apart okay just in like a cross slash sounds good um bam i am very curious why you're here we'll talk later yeah that was fucking amazing um brilliant son mm. all righty all right <whistles> zoop um, so I can still go. You can basically cover the whole run. All right. Well, then I'll just, in that case, I'll jump down from here and step over this dead body and go back <laughs> to the <laughs> corner May, here. Me. Um, and I will do my unarmed strike once again. All right. As a full attack. Same nonsense I did last time. Cool. Oh my god. That was so terrible. So I rolled a one. Does anything specific happen? Because a natural that? one? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, no. That is a crit fail. That yeah. is a fan fumble. Fan That's fumble. <laughs> this is how you know that I'm honest even though you can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> I finally have my crit fumble deck in like nice little oh, no. plastic shoes. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking right. die. Don't you dare let them die. Um so... This is so embarrassing. Jin, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> hey, hey, is it uh is it more embarrassing than teleporting into a wall? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, leaving the show. Wow. <laughs> uh, Brit. No, what happened? Unscheduled uh, dance off. Wait, what? What? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> you must succeed at an acrobatics check. Oh. Or take weapon damage or bludgeoning oh. damage from your own punch. And reduce your land speed by half until healed. Wait, so I would have to take the damage of an un unarmed strike on myself? Yep. So, um, um. here's what happens. <laughs> uh, you can choose. Well, give me an acrobatics check. Wait, are you going to bunt? Wait, read so that again. So, as... As you okay, you must succeed at an un, you must succeed at an acrobatic okay. check or take damage and reduce your land speed by half until healed. <gasps> okay, so I just rolled a nat twenty and then twenty six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, Useful, well, I know. Yeah, that's great. The so, epic highs and lows of my dice experience tonight. As you are running over toward this employee. You trip over one of the cubicles that you try to vault over. And you end up like almost tumbling. And you kind of have to like dance your way out of it. You know when you're running and you trip and you like kind of catch yourself and you're, yeah. you're still like running? Um, that's what happens. And your land speed is now reduced by half. And we can kind of say that that's... Um, you're now extra careful of your surroundings um, as you're running, like you're trying to be a little bit more cognizant of what's going on around you. Um, so your land speed goes from, I'm assuming it was 30 down to 15. So that yeah. haste that you had is now not 60, it's now well, 30, I think. No, okay. it's now yeah, yeah. it's now 45. 40, okay, there you Wait, go. Wait, why, I, what was Ryan's we, thing did to me? You get, you get plus 30 move speed. Well, my regular is, 30. Yeah, so you, now you so you almost ate shit 
so it's half speed. Oh, half speed of my normal speed, but I still have the full bonus. Yeah, so you still have 45, I get it. so you can still- Okay. Um, so now you can cover most of the room. Okay. You also can still take that second attack. Okay. Uh, now that you've arrived. Um, <laughs> yeah. I catch myself via Jin popping out and steadying me as I run like an idiot. <laughs> You trip over an extension cable that they didn't tape down. Make yeah. sure that second attack is at a minus four, though. Yeah. Have you ever- Oh, the shit! Okay, what the fuck is going on? Okay, so I rolled a nat 20, and then- What the f- You've rolled <laughs> ones and twenties and nothing I else. I know! I don't know what's going on. I'm cursed. Well, I am cursed. I'm cursed and I'm cursed. So then plus four, plus 10. So that's 30. So did you roll a nat 20 on the dice just now? Yeah, yeah. All right, so it's going to be double dice. So rather than 2d6, it's going to be 4d6. <laughs> and then you're going to double your modifier as well. Okay. So I think it's a 14. It's going to go to a 28. <gasps> um, it's an 18, actually. My Wait, wait, wait. My, okay, so wait, what is it? 4d6 so plus 36. 36, okay. Is that with the plus one from Ryan? And the yep. plus one from Ryan. Let's see. Which is then double. Five. Okay. 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 I think that plus one is still just a flat one. Okay. All right. Everyone but hold for another count. math moment. I think I crits still like... double double everything, don't they? Yeah, it doubles all modifiers, and that's a plus one to damage as well. So it would double the plus two. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, in that case, it's a 59. All right. What the shit? I rolled my uh, sixes really well. I this, rolled two sixes in that. <laughs> this individual dies. Um, how would you like to end them? <laughs> With a stumble and a bang. <laughs> Because literally what happened here is I tried to run across the room. I tripped over my own friggin' feet, like uh, caught, barely caught myself using uh, Jin, and then basically stood up in front of it. Um, and Jin's gonna like fully come out of my back. Like almost, we can just, can we just imagine like Venom here? Can it just be like Venom? I've already been imagining. <laughs> I've I already been this imagining character Venom. because of Venom. Can it just be like Venom, but purple? Um, so Venom they is come, purple. <laughs> they come out and like literally just headbutt to death. Cool. And this individual falls to the ground. They are very much unalived. Um, this is like a Three Stooges routine. I know, that was- a You just fucking, fucking tripped comedic. over a cubicle, stumbled around, and a creature popped out of your back and smacked him in the face. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with that. <laughs> um, and with that, the last surviving employee runs over to Nova holding a, um, and as they run, they grab a, uh, an office chair and then they attempt to hit Nova with it. You guys are just not getting it. Give him the chair. Give him the chair. <laughs> Another natural two. That's four natural twos that I've had tonight. Um, Here. they miss. <laughs> That's almost as many natural twenties as Brits had. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and next is, I believe that is Graham. Um, hey Emma. Yeah. With eighty feet of movement, can I get to the last living employee? You could get to the last living employee and get back. With eighty feet of movement? Yes. Oh. Why is my Why did my screen freeze up? What the fuck? Um. Yeah, you can do it. You're fine. Okay, there we go. I'll go over there. <laughs> um, along my way, I'm gonna cause uh, each computer to uh, fritz. Pew, 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 yep. pew, so are you like Naruto running past them and like static shocking them? 
kind of. Um, especially since that's a, I have to do math. Um, 42, 41. Trick attack. Check. Yep. Yep. Uh, and then my attack. Ooh. Uh, I think it's still gonna hit, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be close. Um. Uh, what about a? You, I still get a plus one from Ryan. So what about a eighteen to hit? That is a hit. Oh, cool. That's fine. Um, okay, I'm gonna roll. No. Oh man. Um, so seven plus. Eight plus eleven is thirty-nine. Thirty-nine, um, half bludgeoning, half electric. Got it. Um. And next up is Kevin. Um, and I'm gonna make them uh off target until the end of my next turn, or the until the beginning of my next turn. Got it. Um. With my debilitating trick. Cool. All right. Um, we're still hasted, yeah? Yep. Uh, with all this increased speed and energy, I'm just going to flavor right the chair that this person flew at me, that threw at me. So I'm just going like, to pick it up, set it back down, and like pat it off a little bit. <laughs> and then <laughs> flavor. Just flavor. <laughs> um, the janitor. Clean it up the area. <laughs> and... I can't really see this last person anymore. How tall is the ceiling in this room? Uh, 20 feet tall. Okay, so still no, probably enough. No, higher than that, 40 feet tall. Okay, so definitely enough space to fly over these cubicles. Um, you get so plus just, 30 fly speed, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of movement. So I'm just going to activate my jet pack and fly further into the room until I can like see this person and have a good angle on them. Does that seem okay? Yeah, I think so. I'm just are you gonna... still in the air or are you jumping over? I'm still in the air. Got it. You yeah, have I'm a clean shot. Stay up there. Um, and since I can full attack, I'll do that still. Okay. This is a full attack. Uh, 31 to hit on the first one. That's a hit. 24 points of fire damage. And they are dead. Oh, yeah. not dazzled. They're dead. <laughs> the tassel. Amazing. Thank you. Um, and you are now in this room, able to explore should you choose. But everybody in here is dead. Um, what did we do? um? Did we close the door to this room? By yes. the way, yes, we did. We did. Did okay. you? I don't remember anybody saying that you closed the door. <gasps> Kevin, Kevin told us to close the doors, and we were going to follow his wishes. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, I, I don't I remember asked that happening. To do it, but I don't remember anyone actually <laughs> saying that they did. Yeah, um, I think I think we're going to keep the door open for now. Ah, uh, can I hear or see anyone? <laughs> Luke still has one okay. round of haste left, and he's going to run back and immediately close the door. Oh, that's it. I was gonna do stealing my thunder. Just... All right. Um, at you this gonna lock point, it? <laughs> no. At, at this point, Graham, like seeing that like combat is kind of ending, we've knocked out all these employees. Graham's gonna turn and look at everyone. Okay. Who the fuck are you? Where the fuck am I? And how the fuck did I get here? And with that, we'll call session for tonight. Hey. Woo! That was a fun one. <laughs> Thank you I all. I consider that the best play hey. of my career. Well done. has <laughs> got some squeezins to make. Uh, oh, no. oh, wait. Can you make, like, digital squeezins? Wait, are they? Oh, that's right. They're, like, weird robots, right? Uh -huh. They oh. are people that have augmentations all over their body. Um, so there's some blood in there. You, there. There's some blood in there. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. I mean, technically Graham has some electronics in him. Or had. Or <laughs> has. 
add? All right, y'all. I'm going to shut off our uh, our visual podcast. So thank you all. Have a wonderful night. Um, thanks for watching. If you're tuning in, if you're tuning in, and uh, yeah, good night, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh.